The deadly wildfires continue to tear across the state, claiming now at least one life. So let's go ahead and show you some of the scene from that fire. Look at this. We know that authorities are battling against four active major wildfires. One of those is the Smokehouse Creek Fire, which is now the largest fire in Texas state history, burning over 1 million acres. The fire, as you know, has spread wide and fast. The growing fire has forced evacuations and triggered power outages, destroyed homes, burned vast ranch lands and killed livestock. We're learning that the person who died in the fire, according to family members, was an 83 year old grandmother. The Texas A&M Forest Service said today that Smokehouse Creek fire is only 3% con contained. The Texas governor has upgraded the Texas State of Emergency Operations Center readiness level from a two to a three, which will allow more resources to be deployed to the impacted areas. And the Colleen Fire Department is lending a hand. The city of Colleen shared these photos as six of the city's firefighters and three vehicles have now been deployed up north to help. Waco Fire is also out in the panhandle alongside other firefighters from Temple and Moffat. Here's photos of the scene and you can see it started to snow even in that area. Yeah, amazing. Okay, if you are watching and you want to know how you can help, the Panhandle Texans, they're living up there as soon as possible. Six News does have a way. There is a local business taking it upon themselves to give much needed assistance to the Panhandle, but they need your help too. Six News reporter Jordan Sarder Francis is here to help as well and joins us live in Lorena. And Jordan, what is the plan for the Panhandle? Chris and Lizzie, the plan is to fill up this box truck with much needed supplies and get it to the panhandle. Now, the company that owns this box truck, Rockin' H4 Enterprises, is calling on Central Texas to donate much needed goods to get it to the panhandle. Now, on your screen, you will see donations that are so desperately needed in the address to where to bring it. Central Texans are asked to bring animal feed, including hay, feed, and cubes, water and canned goods, fencing supplies, gift cards, and gas cards, toiletries, diapers, and wipes. Now, I actually spoke to a spokesperson at the Texas Farm Bureau who has teams on the ground in the panhandle, and the situation they are describing needs an all-hands-on-debt effort from all of Texas. It is not in any way contained in some of those larger areas that are burning right now. Regardless whether it's a hurricane, a wildfire, natural do uh, disasters such as tornadoes, Texans rally to help their fellow Texans. Again, the address to drop off these donations is on your screen. Now, some of these supplies are for the livestock that live in the panhandle, and the rest are for the people. Let's do this, Central Texas. Chris and Lindsay, back to you. And if I know our neighbors already, people are thinking I can get yeah. A, B, C, and D and get it there, and all this information will be on our website too, so people can know it and help out. Thank you so much.